Welcome to a great cow basic demonstration. I'm going to take you through the re nut chuck support that um been published in the November 2015. So what is this uh, re nut chuck implementation? It uses a small adapter, you can see uh, in the middle of the screen there, and uh, a joystick. A joystick is called the re nut chuck, and um, it has um, it's inserted into a USB connector, and um, it's connected as a the USB to the actual microchip or the AVR and I've connected a terminal up and we're going to see some displays, some values, indexes, joystick position, accelerometer values and some button status and we're in the accelerometer we're going to see X, uh, Y and Z axis. So what I've got it connected to, I've actually got it connected up to a, a 328p um, Uno using great car basic to program it. Two uh, connections to the um, I2C port for the um, data and for the clock and power. That's the, and they're connected directly into the small PCP and then that is then sh gently inserted into the end of the D, uh, Wii so no damage is done to the actual uh, nut stuck, uh, the nut chuck um, Wii um, controller. So there's no pull-ups because the um, device itself has pull-ups on board. So let's have a look at what the output looks like. As you can see, I'm getting some values back. We're getting some uh, joystick values uh, on the left. We've got index and joystick values, and then we've got some uh, the accelerometer values, and then the button values. Now this seems to be moving through quite quickly. That's because events are occurring, and those events have been trapped. So I've just if I hold the joystick hold down or hard on the desk, it stops vibrating and then we can see it stops transmitting data. But it's really reading I2C buses for getting data and we're only displaying um, changes um, of, of the data. So if I push the button down, you can see that I'm getting different values of um, 0 and 1. That's because I'm holding down different buttons. I've got a C button and the Z button. And you can see as I push those, I, I get a change. But I've actually got the joystick hard on the desk at the moment to stop it from vibrating. Because even as I talk, the desk is vibrating and the acceler accelerometer is picking up those values. So I'm now moving the joystick. You see the second column of data. And I'm moving the joystick around and I'm getting changes on the X, Y on the joystick and on the X, Y and Z on the accelerometer. But of course the button is pretty stationary. So I'm holding it down again. If I hold it down, you can see it stabilizes, and so you can you can detect very small movements with the accelerometer. Just to remind you, the index is only on change, so if there is no change, we won't get any uh, data coming through. Running at um, 100 uh, kilohertz. And if I shut that little window down, sorry, um, I do get a slightly faster up update, or it seems, but it's not in reality because um, this is serial running at um, 115k kilobits, and um, that's not the constraint. The constraint is actually processing the string and uh, getting that out onto the screen. So I'm just holding it solid on the desk again, and we get uh, stability in the uh, data. So. Let's have a look. Um, I'm in the um, I'm in a uh, release of Great Car Basic, so I'll go into the demonstration folders of the game controllers, not jump, and there it is. We have an example program. And basically, we've just got an include statement for the nutjack itself, and the chip statement. You can change those to your heart's content. Uh, I've coded this for terminal, so you can change this over to um, uh, LCD quite clearly. And I've uh, sort of annotated what I'm doing. So, once you get returned back, I've given you some sort of clear string stuff. And I've got two options you can scroll the display, which I've got, and a hex display, which I'll show you in a moment. I'm just showing the scroll display, which essentially does a read of the sensor there, and then just handles the outputs. And what we get returned is uh, I've got the variables called joy x and joy y which is clearly the um, position of the X and Y of the joystick. And we also get a value called nutjuck status, which actually um, 
breaks down into uh, the switch state so you can you can understand that this thing's on the move basically um, so let's have a look here's a black I have two choice uh, not chat I've got a black one and a white one well, I'm gonna use the, the, the white one the, the black one to start with and you can see I'm pushing the buttons and I get changes now if I just hold it very very steadily I can take the vibration out of the desk and it will settle down. Oh, let me just hold that a bit better. There we go. There we go. Now it's stationary and you can see button 1 and button 2 are not depressed. I'm moving the joystick and you can see I'm getting different axes of deflection. There we go. So you can see me moving the joystick with my thumb. If I hold it down again, a bit trickier. I'm just going to try to push the button. But what I'm going to do is I'll change over to um, another joystick. Um, so this, I'll change to another joystick in a moment. So this uh, joystick, as I said, returns some values, and um, those values are pretty well easy to, to use in your own programs in terms of um, X direction and Y direction. So let's have a look at um, something else. We're going to look at this other option that I've given you for um, displaying the screen. So scroll screen, um, it just looks for change in the values of the key parameters in the um, nutshell. And then uh, as, it, as they change, they um, get displayed. So let's just shut that serial terminal down. We're going to reload that in a moment, but this is what I'm using to program it. So the moment it's programmed, I'll uh, make a look. There's my 328p attached. I'll program that. I'm going to open up my terminal. But, and there we go. We've changed this display. So I'm actually going over to a, a hex display. Now you can see there are 64 bits displayed on the screen here, and those 64 bits are um, the, the 64 bits that I'm actually requesting from the nutshell. So when I'm doing this display, I'm actually doing a read of, si of 64 bits. I'm only displaying what's changed, so it's quite fast. So what I'm going to do is hold this joystick in a position. So the sixth bit, sixth bit is um, set to a value where I can show you the um, buttons changing. So let me just settle this joystick. Moving it very gently. Moment, let's see what I can get it locked down in my hand. There we go. It's, uh, it's in the position where the last, the, mo the least significant bits of bit two relate to the joystick. So the moment I get it steady, oh, I moved it again. You can see I'm moving very gently. I'm not moving the joystick. I'm just moving the, um, the, the nook itself. And the moment that goes to zero, three, or a three, I'm happy. Now I know I'm in a position where I can actually push the joystick button because there's only these two bits that actually respond back to the, the button press. There we go. I'm now pushing the buttons, and you can see one and two. I've got one button down, but another button down. When I hold them down simultaneously, it will go to zero. Very hard to hold this joystick stationary. There we go, it's off again. Um, but uh, as you can see, these six bytes are the only six bytes in the 64 that are actually changing. So when I do the other program, I just read the, the important bits I need, the first six bits, and uh, I don't need to do a 64 bit read. So here's a black one. This is the black one. I've got the internet. Very uh, inexpensive. I've got a white one. This is my son's white one. White one's gone now. I'm just going to plug that back into the um, little USB connector. There we go. Let's insert that. Let's press the reset button on the uh, Uno. And we've got the screen clear. I'm going to show the difference between these two. The differences are quite important. The, I am moving this joystick quite freely, and if you notice, the only bit
bits that are changing are it's bit 6 at the moment because there is no accelerometer in this nut tube and nut chuck. So um, now I'm moving the first two bits which is the XY joystick but the next three bits are not changing there is no accelerometer so I can turn I can check the button the button presses so you must be careful when you buy these things and they are not every single one clearly comes with an accelerometer so let me just change that over back to my black one there we go clear down and now we are back to my black one and you can see I'm moving I'm moving away quite freely. So, or not all chuck, all not, uh, not all nut chucks are made equal. Um, but the code seems to cope quite well. I will uh, publish that out to the um, to the forum very shortly. So, that's a, a wee nut chuck support for Great Card Basic, yes, and, and we'll call that a.